Hello, I'm Safira Lou and welcome to my channel. Hello guys and welcome to this week's video in which I am doing Vex and Vax from the amazing podcast series Critical Role. I will explain a bit about Critical Role if you haven't heard of it already. Uh, Critical Role is a group of nerdy ass voice actors who love D&D and they basically do a D&D campaign uh, which is set on the 5th edition of D&D uh, uh, with some Pathfinder rules as well as some twisted rules that they are um, doing between them. If you've not heard of it before, I do highly suggest in checking it out. It's got some amazing voice actors in there and I do recommend it. Um, I've gotten up to episode 70 so far. I think we're up to 100 and 405 i'm not entirely sure so i'm a little bit behind so please no spoilers in the comments down below but if you do have a favorite character please let me know and if you are a fellow critter please you know i want to hear i want to hear other people that are also involved in in the critter fandom because it's been absolutely amazing to be a part of this fandom uh, Critical Role is something I got into just before um, doing London Comic Con. Uh, it was something I needed something in the background to listen to just while I was drawing and my friend recommended why don't I listen to this podcast. Um, I had still a fair bit to catch up so it meant I wouldn't run out of episodes uh, which was fantastic for me because I always end up running out of episodes of stuff to listen to or watch to while I'm drawing and so it was perfect. So the, the characters I'm doing are Vex and Vax. Vex and Vax are the elf half-elf twins uh, in Critical Role. Um, uh, Vax is the female. She is voiced by... Sorry. <laughs> um, Vex is the female. She's a half-elf ranger slash rogue. And she has specialises in um, like archery weapons. And she has a bear named Trinket. And then you've got Vex, who is voiced by Liam O'Brien, and he's half elf rogue paladin. Um, and I won't obviously say much about the spoilers uh, in this series. If you haven't watched it, I do highly recommend you watch slash listen to it. It's really nice to have something there in the background while you're drawing, um, just to listen to and get involved with. Um, as you can see at the beginning of this video, I actually already had this piece sketched out and this is because I've been planning on doing some Critical Role fun art for a while and I've had a fair few pieces actually sketched out in my sketchbook and I really wanted to flesh this out. For the full list of equipment, you can actually see it down below in the description box, but I will let you know that I use a Windsor and Newton Water, Water Cotman set, um, a Unipin Fineliner, a Uniball Signo White Gel Pen, and some pro markers just to get some colours up and running in the background. Um, this piece is almost like a small tribute piece. I do I want um, some of my most of my fan art stuff. I try to keep as spoiler free as possible with like hints to the show, um, just because I want to do fan art of the show without actually spoiling anything for someone, um, just to keep it fair and it was actually really nice because the critical uh role one of the guys in the critical role team actually got in touch with me and asked if i minded sending the funnel over um so that they could see it uh, they show it in one of their videos and i'm actually really excited about that uh, because you know a little bit of fangirling so if you wanted to know who's a part of critical role uh they are all voice actors who have done various different shows various different um, animations, TV, games that you may have heard of. There's Matt Mercer who is the DM, um, who you guys may know uh, from several different shows. Uh, Travis Willingham, uh, Marisha May, uh, Taliesin Jaff, uh, I'm sorry, I'm probably saying these names entirely wrong, Asher Johnson, Liam O'Brien, Laura Bailey and Sam Regal. Um, they all play different characters and they are all absolutely uh, amazing voice actors and amazing uh, what they do and if you ever want a good listen to something and enjoy the journey that they go along I highly recommend it. I'll be doing a lot more Critical Role fan art and if you guys are interested in seeing more stuff like this I highly recommend it. It's also really got me into D&D &D, um, and my friend has asked me if I wanted to join their D&D &D campaign one day and he's like yes please. <laughs> uh, I, 
This piece is almost just very simple and I have this idea of like I want all of the pieces that I do with these to all have like a similar sort of like leaf foliage background um, so that when you put them all together on one giant piece of A3 um, they'll all coexist and all be together and like make it all fancy and so because the idea is generally instead of it just being separate pieces is to just to do one giant piece all together. I do apologise if a lot of this gets cut out of frame because the when I actually filmed this originally um, I wasn't actually planning on making it a full video, it was going to be a bonus but I love the piece that much, I just wanted to make it a full bonus video. Um, I'm still trying to work out different ideas with the camera angles and trying to work out better ways of filming just so that we get better shots involved um, and better like camera angles and stuff. I'm not making much sense right now but if any of you guys are a critical in the critical role fandom like who would you like to see me draw next i really want to draw some silly pictures but they would kind of be a little bit spoilery would you guys mind that um you'll see a lot more of these in my future sketchbooks and my future sketchbook tours as i just i can't stop drawing critical role guys and i'm gonna have to blame my friend lissy for that because it is all her fault that she got me involved in this in the first place <laughs> So I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, month's fan art video. Any suggestions in anything that you would like me to check out, please leave um, in the comments down below. I do want to do another masquerade piece, so leave your suggestions for those down below. I have a few ideas I want to do. I'm trying to do it so that every month when I do a fan art piece that it's not the same one every single month that I won't always do a masquerade one or I won't always do like say uh, Steven Universe or Critical Role or Ladybug and try to mix it up just so that it's a little bit more fun and I try something a little bit different each time. I really really hope you guys enjoy this piece like it's something a little personal and something I'm really really happy with and I'm really glad that I did it and I probably would love to redo this piece again in the future just to see how far I've come on and see if I can do these characters better justice. I hope you guys enjoy this video, maybe like, comment and subscribe if you want to. I hope you all have a wonderful day and as always, stay creative.